So Strebs, another draw, third in the row. What's your assessment of today's game? Yeah, look, frustrated in the end for, to be in the lead for such a long time and then to give that goal away in the 70 odd minute. I don't know what minute it was. I have to look at it. Um, frustrated really more than anything because apart from Joe pulling off a really good save in the opening minutes from a bit of a deflected shot and he had to react and pulled off a hell of a save. Although they had a lot of possession in the way they play across the back in the midfield here, I didn't really feel like we was under any sort of pressure in terms of Joe having to make many more saves. Um, but yeah, I don't think we was as good on the ball as I liked us to be today. We would give the ball away far too sloppily at times. And uh, we did create some chances, but they were a bit hard to come by throughout until the end. Um, is that something we can work on going forward? Oh yeah, it has to be, yeah. You want to create more chances, of course it is. But it's, um, yeah, I just think it's a, a mentality shift. When you're 1-0 up protecting something, and it happens at all levels, not just our levels, they end up coming a little bit more on the front foot and trying to get the equaliser. But then it's just crazy how a goal can maybe change their mentality, but also change our players because... Um, you know, then we did start getting after them in their final third. We had lots of shots and things being blocked. But in saying that, their goals come from Housey breaking through, doing brilliantly, shooting enough in there. Boy number two made a last ditch block to save us going 2 0 up, and it ends up going all the way up the other end. And then them coming inside and took a bit of a deflection. But I've just told Greener enough it was poor one on one defending out wide from the left back. And he's, he's normally Greener's biggest part of his game is he's one on one defending, and it wasn't, it wasn't good defending. Um, gets cut back and I think Agarlo shoots and I think it takes a nick off one of our boys. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a bit of a blow to be nearly getting tuning up and then conceding again. And then we created chances late on, but um, to no avail, they block, got blocks on and we hit the crossbar. But um, yeah, it was this period in between us going 1-0 up and then equalising where I thought we could have been a, bit, a lot better. Yeah, and as you mentioned at the end, we did go close on numerous occasions. Is it a, a bit of a plus that we have that injection of pace from Blair, Hill and Smith that can come and create things? We just, it just didn't quite fall for us. Yeah, I think so. Look, they're all, um, they're all positive players, but um, Tom Blair was playing for Dorchester, at rock bottom of the league. Dan's come from Bognor Regis and Hilly's come from um, Hampton and Richmond. So they're all young lads learning their trade and, you know, and, and going to get better all the time. And it's brilliant when they come. And I just said to him, well, all three of them on there have come on and made a real good impact, which is great, brilliant to see. You know, Dan being positive and he's always positive in training with getting a yard and getting his shots away. Um, Hilly's very good at getting at people driving 1v1 situations and creating overloads. And then Tom, we started him out on the right when he come on and threw him over to the left, which is more of his favoured position, you know. And we went to like a 4 4 2 to match them up. Um, in hindsight, could I have done that a little bit earlier? But it's always di- difficult when you're one 0 up in a game. You're not feeling under too much pressure in terms of thinking you're going to concede. And as soon as they scored, I had to be reactive and do something. And maybe I could have been a bit more proactive before that to maybe stopping it, getting back to one-one. But um, I have to watch the game back and make that decision. But um, yeah, all three of them. And look, we've got some good good players in the group, and they're all working, and they're going to have good moments over the season. And at, at the moment. We've drawn three games straight where I look at it and I honestly say on other days we could have won all three games. Um, there's even the Maidenhead game at home when we won as an out of best and we ended up losing 1-0. It's just the real tight margins in these games. I watch these boys against Torquay at the weekend they end up losing 4-3 against the league leaders, scoring three goals and you know real tight margins in the game and they end up losing it. Today they've got it back and equalised against us and drawn. So it doesn't matter whether you're top of the table of this league or down towards the bottom. No games are easy at this level, especially with the weight of games around the Christmas period as well. So um, we'll take the point. I have to take the point and move on. We're undefeated. But yes, I wanted to get free and I'm frustrated that we haven't. And then we go to Stockport on Tuesday again. Like I say, it won't be an easy test. Um, what did you make of that? Yeah, it's a tough test. Probably no one else no one else outside of our group will probably think we can go to Stockport and win, but I think we can. Um, got respect for their manager because he's an experienced guy. been... You know, got promotion for stop done brilliantly for them over the years. You know, in two spells, I think it is now. I think I'm right in saying this is second or maybe even his third spell at Stockport. So, and they've um, they've recruited really well in the summer. They're in a different place to us in terms of their recruitment structure. They seem to be taking either league players, League One or two players, or boys that have been proven at this level and been in successful ties. Like um, I don't want a lad they signed Crowsdale from Fylde and. Um, you know, Reed and God, there's all Jennings brothers. They've got you know on paper very very good footballers, but I, I think we can go there and give a good account of ourselves. Whether that will lead into us pick, taking the three points, I certainly hope so. Um, we're going to respect them. I know it'll be a tough game, but um, I fancy us wherever we go, whether at home or away. If we play well, I, I fancy the other team's got to be very good to beat us, and that will happen over the season. But I, I'm, I'm certainly not scared of going to Stockport. It'll be a tough game, and we're, one we'll look forward to. Okay.